guys, Christina with Forever Board Soapery here. I just thought I'd touch base. I haven't been around in a little bit again. Um, honestly, I'm making it a goal this year to kind of get all my paperwork and my um, inventory and pricing and everything else down pat. Um, I just haven't really tracked some of this stuff like the inventory. I haven't really been tracking. I track the sales, but not so much ingredients and things like that. So I want to start doing that because it is required here in Alberta, apparently. Um, so I do want to start doing that now that I'm getting a little bit more traffic and I'm starting to get a little bit more um, ingredients stocked up as opposed to just buying what I need for a batch or whatever and selling it and going from there. So I'm trying to do that, which is, ugh. <laughs> I don't even know how else to explain it, but ugh. Once I've got it all in and entered, I think it'll be okay to manage it monthly. Um, it's just right now because I'm getting it all in there. So I think I've got all of the ingredients inventory logged in and I just I did the inventory count for my products I just have to get them entered in as well I'm using inventora so far so good it's been doing everything that I need it to do which is nice and I'm using the free version so fingers crossed that continues to be lovely for me um what else just getting stuff ready for the accountant as well for taxes. I, I wanted to get a jump on it this year. I always leave it till the last minute. In fact, last year I, I filed late because I was just so busy and uh, it was the first time I ever filed late. So I want to get a jump on that right away here in January, start getting everything gathered and ready for her so I don't have that problem. Um, what else do I have going on? I haven't made anything really this year as of yet, maybe a couple of candles. Um, again, focusing on this paperwork, like I have my little um, journal entry jobs, to do's, whatever. And I can't believe how long some of the tasks are taking me. So for example, there's some work on the website I want to do. I have some things I need to update for my cosmetic notification forms, um, working on the accounting stuff, whatever. Everything's just taking longer. So if I put in say three or four things to do that day, I'm usually getting like one big task worked on really well. And then maybe one small task and that's all I'm accomplishing that day. So I'm finding everything's taking me a lot longer. So I'm really trying to focus on getting this stuff done. Uh, I might make Saturdays my let myself make something day, but for the month of January, this is my goal. Just get everything caught up um, that needs to be caught up or rectified if it's something that I haven't been doing and I should be doing, that sort of thing. So far, I'm just blah. <laughs> I don't know how you guys are uh, when it comes to this time of the year. Uh, many of you probably already have it down pat a little bit better than I do. But for me, this kind of paperwork is very long and stressful. And to be perfectly honest, the probably the first employee that I hire will be taking on all this. <laughs> that will be the job for this employee. I'll double check everything, that sort of thing. But all the data entry and searching for paperwork and printing off paperwork and ugh, I don't want nothing to do with any of it. That will be my, my dream goal is to have an employee take care of all of that for me so that um, I can work the store, make products, um, do sales, that sort of thing. But we'll see. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just hanging out at my desk, just plugging away hardcore. Um, I've got some stuff coming up. I definitely have some price changes that I'm going to be doing for the store. Um, I changed my wax melts. I was making... Um, the wax melt beads, uh, I thought they were so cute and wonderful. And um, I'd seen another company, one of those MLM companies, they were selling them at a market 
and I thought they were fantastic. You could mix and match fragrances to create your own custom blend, that sort of thing. It just didn't go anywhere. There was really no interest in it at all. I think I sold two little little things. Um, I might have to change up how it's packaged and marketed and all that kind of stuff, but zero interest in it uh, in store at all. So I switched it up and I went to the standard kind of wax melts um, clamshells that uh, are you know, been around forever and everybody's using. I moved over to that. I'll be honest, I really like the packaging look of it. It just looks more cleaner and professional. Still would like to do a couple tweaks, but it's looking better. So I'm hoping to have those running this year. And then my scrubs, unfortunately, my whipped sugar scrubs are going up in price. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but I have them listed as foaming sugar scrubs because there is soap in there. And when you kind of get it under the water and you really get into it, it does foam up a bit. Um, but the feedback that I got from some of my wholesale customers is they felt like it really wasn't foaming in the standard sense of if you had a liquid soap that was coming out of the pump foaming and it was confusing people. So I'm just leaving it as whipped as opposed to foaming. So I've changed that. Changing the price, I was coming in really low. Um, well, not really low, but low. So it's going up from $12 to $13. I'm still way lower, I think, than most people. Uh, I do 225 grams now. They were 175, but they weren't filling up all the way to the top of the jar. And it was just, it was looking empty, um, especially if some air happened to come out of it, then it would look incredibly empty and I didn't like that. So I added another 50 grams, which probably is why the price had to go up. Um, but it's going to $13 a jar. And then I think I'm going to do a two for 25 special in that as well. That way it helps people out a little bit with the increase in price. Um, and it doesn't hurt my sales any as well. What else did we have going on? I can't remember if I told you guys or not. I did a a Christmas party here this year for my one year anniversary. And basically what I did is I did prizes. They played a game and it, if it, they got to, um, basically it was like beer pong. They hit the ping pong ball into a cup and then it would, whatever cup they landed on had a number assigned to it. And then whatever number was on it, they got to go pick um, that number and whatever was in that prize is what they won and the prizes that I did were mostly my older products like older soap bars and stuff that had some old labeling on it and that went off huge um, the kids loved it uh, I've received multiple Christmas purchases just because the kids came in they played the game, they got a free soap, they thought it was amazing, and then they were asking their parents for soap products for Christmas. So that was fantastic. Like, not only were my sales great that night also, but um, it really did get people to come into my store, see what I had to offer, and then some, as I said, some of the kids and stuff were, you know, teenagers, that sort of thing, really wanted products for Christmas. So I was super happy about that. Um, I had a point there about that. Oh, so basically I cleared out. I think I've cleared out almost all. I might have a few items that are older items with the older labels, but for the most part, everything's gone. I'm super happy about that. Um, and I mean old labels, like my first starting out with labels sort of thing for the soaps. I do still have a good turnover that I have to do this year where I went from just the label on the back of the bar to a small label on the front and one on the back. But anything new I'm making has that now this year. So the, and they, they really do look better. I think they look a lot more professional with that little um, sticker on the front as well. I'm still playing with stickers this year. I've tried four different ones now. So my original one that I was doing was just photo paper. Uh, off Amazon, super cheap. Uh, it's fantastic. It works great uh, in theory. In practice though, in some cases, so for example, if I need to put black ink on the on the, the label, 
it smudges off, which is just drives me batty. My most of my labels are like a white um, font for the text and stuff, but the black is wiping off of the ones that I have black on. So that's driving me crazy. So I'm trying to find a new sticker paper. I've tried a couple. Um, I think Amazon, Timu, they're all just junk. I know a lot of people are recommending online labels. I'm probably going to have to reach out to them and ask them for one of their sample packs and play with that a little bit. Um, and then I, yeah, I hate the idea of adjusting my prices to deal with the labels, but we'll see. I may not have to. It depends on how cost effective it is with the others. Um, the other thing I was considering too is having online labels actually print my labels. We'll see where that lands as well. I take a lot of time printing labels. I just do them on my Cricut, but it does take a lot of time to um, not so much design them uh, because it's usually just a duplicate and changing the fragrance and adding a couple ingredients, but it's the printing. It takes a long time to print on the Cricut. I was surprised, you know, you're waiting for it to cut and whatever. So um, that might happen this year. We'll see um, how that plays out might be something I look into this year and maybe do the following year, but we'll see how that lands. Uh, I don't have to leave my shop. I'm not sure if we chatted about that at all. The new owners are fantastic. I actually know them from years ago um, and they're really well known in the community. They own another business right next door. They're great. So they have basically kept everything as is for now. So fingers crossed. If that could hold out for this next year, that would be fantastic. Um, but I was really worried about that when the business sold, what was gonna happen there, and it's all as is, so that's perfect. Um, what else do we got here? I'm trying to think of what else is going on. Really, it's just me staring at paperwork, lots and lots of paperwork. So if you are wondering where the heck my videos are, they are coming. I just literally haven't been making anything because my focus is on getting this paperwork done. That's January's goal. Once January is done and my paperwork is done, then I can start uh, reconsidering what I'm going to make. So you might get a video or two in the middle here. Uh, if I get bored or whatever, and I'm just sick of paperwork, which I'm getting sick of paperwork, um, I might make something just to give myself something fun to do, in which case I'll probably film it for you guys. But otherwise, I'm just doing paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. And I'm not really going to film that for you. Uh, I don't feel, for example, with the inventory system, although it seems to be easy to use, I don't think at this point I'm a professional at using it. So I'm not really going to do a tutorial on that or anything because I, I just need to learn more about it before I start worrying about things like that. And of course, all my tech stuff, I'm not going to share that with you guys. <laughs> so yeah, it will be coming along, I guess. But keep an eye on the website. I'm slowly creeping through each of the products that are on there now, cleaning them up, updating them, um, really focusing on getting the descriptions to be a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more like fragrance um, so people know what the fragrances smell like. Um, yeah, just detailed descriptions. Um, talking about the goat's milk, potentially, um, you know, that I, I make or I raise the goats that provide me with the milk, that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> I need to do, what else am I doing? Like other stuff I'm doing this month full label reviews, making sure that everybody is accurate. There's no updates or corrections that need to be made. Sometimes I find I make a mistake and then I just make that mistake over and over again. Before, and then I don't necessarily catch it or one day I'll be like, what the heck was I doing there? And I have to go fix them all. So I'm just gonna do a review of my labels, make sure everything's good there, that we don't have any problems. The website, my cosmetic notification forms. I need to do I just need to review them, same thing. Review them, make sure that everything, for example, on my soap list, everything that's on that soap list includes everything I'm selling in case, you know, I added a fragrance and forgot to put it on there. Basically just kind of an audit of my stuff this month. Um, video editing. So 
I'm having some troubles with my video editing. Uh, there, I had probably four videos for you guys that I finished off at the end of last year that could have kind of filled this gap. Um, I'm having troubles with the sound. I need to buy a microphone, um, a clip on one that will work not only with my phone, but also with my laptop because sometimes I do a voiceover and I need the laptop for that because I don't want to do it on my phone. Um, so I, I need to find one that is good for both of those. The sound has just been terrible. Um, not so much when I'm filming and talking on my phone, but when I'm uh, doing the voiceover on my computer, it's really bad. I'm sure it's not that great right now with filming on my phone either, but it's really bad on the computer. I'm done with that. I don't want to do that anymore. So actively seeking a microphone. I got myself a new clicky for um, stopping and starting the video so I don't have to do so much editing. I can just stop and come back instead of me walking around and then I got to edit me walking around. <laughs> so, thing. so I'm doing that. Um, so there, yeah, more videos to come. I just, I got to focus on getting some stuff to do better videos for you guys. Um, what else am I doing? I'm starting to update my Etsy as well as my fair. I want to do some videos for those and my website just to help with sales. How do you use the product? What does it look like? All that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of products not on Etsy and fair that I think I want to try to get on there as well um, to see how those are doing. And then, of course, the usual uh, marketing posts for Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff I got to get taken care of as well. Doo -doo -doo. And that's just this week at this point. And that's only like three or four days this week of stuff that I didn't get to that I had to sign myself and it didn't happen yet. Um, and then I've got two more days. Oh, I wanted. I want to look into Walmart Marketplace. Have any of you guys done that one? Um, apparently there's a marketplace and if you're a homemade maker, you don't pay fees. I'm not sure. I still have to do some more research on that. Uh, right now I'm just at, uh, I got to get the, my business license info and all that stuff to get approved. But I, I have some very real questions about that because that could potentially be interesting. Um, Oh, and then I got to clean my shop again. So I did give it at the beginning of January, I gave it a thorough cleaning. <laughs> it was just getting dusty in here. My shelves are white, they attract dust. So I did that and it does need not a full cleaning, but it, it's due for another cleaning here. So that'll probably get done tomorrow at the end of the day. I'll just go through the whole thing so that when I come back Tuesday, it's nice and fresh. And then because I'm not busy enough, we actually get our first foster kiddo today. So that should uh, keep me even more busy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of what's been going on here. So I'll keep in touch. Um, I'll get you videos as soon as I can. Just bear with me while I get this stuff taken care of. And then I will be back with you guys with lots and lots of making videos. I'm so excited to start making. I've got a huge list of stuff I want to make, um, whether it's restocks or new stuff. I, I'm really excited about it. One of the things I really should let you go. We're getting along here. But one of the things I'm working on is a little um, melt and pour, make your own soap box. So I'm working on that right now, just figuring out prices what I can include in it, what size of everything, how many grams of soap I should include, all that good stuff. But something cute and little that people can just pick up and take to somebody for a gift for their birthday or whatever, or a little craft for the weekend or all that good stuff. So I'm working on that too with, uh, I'll try to do two. One's gonna be with my goat's milk and one is going to be a translucent one. The translucent one I haven't made yet. That'll be a video we will play with together later on. I, I just haven't made it before and I have a recipe to try. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So hopefully you guys are bored and creating and having so much fun. 
Um, I am bored and doing paperwork and <laughs> not loving it at all, but off we go. And I will try to get you guys some animal videos. I did have somebody ask to see the farm animals. I will try to get that done here in the next little while as well. Yeah, so that's, that's, yeah, that's life. <laughs> I feel busy. I feel very, very busy. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. And uh, if you have any tips or tricks on the microphones, I would really appreciate it. It's on my list of to do's here is to get a microphone for filming my, my videos with you guys. Anyways, we'll talk to you later.